Cabo Warriors is trying to do everything in the very early minutes. It's, a, it's going to be a very a game that has a toll on 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 the team's physique because of the uh, pitch conditions. Of course, not the easiest of pitches to run in, and uh, yes, the players that are not up to scratch in regards to their physical conditioning, they will feel it today. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how long uh, the likes of Akakulvelo Machiava and Jimmy Ndlovu actually last. The least you can do is get it on target and then hope for the best. <laughs> well, that's so true in the, under these circumstances. Aka Machiava has got a man to beat. He's looking for support and he does get it. Still remember, he's seen it all, hasn't he? He has a different proponent to deal with today <laughs> with uh, Shafiq Batambuzi. He has an engine that <laughs> never relents. Batambuzi will run at you all game. It's quickly taken. Chance here, headed out. But still danger lurking. Oh, that Kasoma cross was uh, just so inviting. Warriors can breathe easy as they take the ball out. Some flashes of what Kasoma Luawa can do with the little step overs and the trickery. Jimmy Njobo fails to convincingly control that ball on that occasion. As they keep uh, searching. I think both teams really have to be wary. And more especially, I think Zesco United, the, they've been the guilty party more than Kawa Warriors. Everything. <laughs> lucky, very lucky there. Ian Otieno. We've seen those end in the back of the net. Ask, Absolutely. Uh, Dumisani Piri, uh, clearance ended up being a goal somewhere. <laughs> No real mistake. Noticeable absentee today, Franklin. Twiza Chaibela. You'd have thought uh, Goken should have played that ball out for a throw in. Played it in instead. Bit of a risk, but no damage done as Kawa Warriors. He's run into space, tries to connect across. Kawa Warriors. And uh, Salty Piri as well, he's on the field of play, playing wide, but nothing has really come from him. So the support for the forwards in Aka and uh, Jimmy Ndlovu, in Salty Piri, and especially Prince Mumba. They're not doing enough so far. Kalengo, again, and he's going. Chance here. Still, pressure is on to the goalkeeper who can't touch it. A yeah, chance, nice. Really waited for it. Tried to corner it, Jimmy Jovo, that uh, header. But I think Aka, uh, in the last games that I've seen him in, doesn't look like his full match fit. So him doing all this work, even now he's involved in play deep. He won't last the game, most likely. Good play from Cowboy Warriors. And they hold on to this. Aka's final pass is well checked, but still pressure is on. Oh, could this be the moment? On the volley, Jimmy Njovu needed to just keep it low. But good, good play from magnificent Cabo Warriors. At least some good interchange in the midfield. And it's Shafiq Batambuzi who keeps it alive. Shields it very well, just Jimmy Belek in Lobo. Prince Mumba with that header into Jimmy Belek in Lobo's path has to take it quick because there's a Zesco United defender coming to close him. Looking to seal the deal with the second goal. Zesco United and it's Winston Kalengo who just seems to come close, but it's just an almost case. Ball is brought down nicely, but one too many touches. An attempt of sorts from Shafiq Batambuzi. 
Warriors looking for a formula to pull to get the equalizer. Strong header out. The referee doesn't blow for a free kick. <laughs> Shavik Batambuzi did think that Chanda Mukoka had fouled him, but the referee deemed that as a legal challenge. Cover Warriors. Warriors with the task to equalize again. Minutes after Sydney Peary's uh, goal for the equalizer, there was always going to be more goals. Well, it's debatable. We'll look back at uh, whether it was a penalty or not. It's uh, Sunday afternoon football. On a battered Cabo Warriors pitch. Confident back header from Shafiq Watambuzi. Barriers coming, Field Candela's ball, switching sides in a clever way. Looking for the turn and a shooting chance. Well, that's a little bit more like it from Nesta Lukupa. I was crossing to the 18-yard box from Watambuzi and... Uh, was missed by Zesco United, brought down by Akakulu Elomachia. Lukupa did have attention from Adrian Chama and Faxon Kapumbu, and he just decides to shift it wide. Batambuzi for the free kick. You curl it, and this could be good. The aggression that Warriors need to push in this kind of situations just has to be employed. They have to attack the ball better and even just that particular free kick from Watambuzi. It's a good delivery. Absolutely. It's into a perfect position. You want your team to attack it and everybody's at the far post and you anticipate that it's going to be dropping at the penalty spot. That's the most dangerous spot and that's where Watambuzi delivers it too. But I mean, the Warriors players seem to be hiding, seem to be shying away from that, 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 that delivery. That, that, that goes without saying. And now, Warriors keep the ball in play, looking for a last minute uh, hit at goal here. The boys brought it in there. And again, it's a lost opportunity.